The Iwi people of Skull Island are all extinct except for Gia. She ends up being adopted by Dr. Andrews and she raises her as her own daughter. Her communication with Kong is impactful throughout the movie because every time Kong faces adversity, she is there to comfort him and provide him strength. Gia transitions from a lost girl to a young woman in this movie when they discover that not all the Iwi people were killed by the storm in Kong Skull Island. Strong electrical spikes are being felt all around the world and the research team Monarch are trying to find out what is going on and what's causing this disturbance. They end up meeting up with Bernie, the conspiracy theorist that usually has a pretty good idea of what's going on when it comes to Godzilla and Kong. And you know, he's the same lovable self acting crazy. He ends up going to Hollow Earth with them because they determine that Hollow Earth is where the signal is coming from. King Kong being in Hollow Earth, he discovers an area that he's never been to before and he runs across this cute little ape named Zuko, but he's very mischievous and he's like a bite-sized Kong. So when he runs across him, he thinks that the little guy is stuck out somewhere and needs help, but little does he know that he's actually trying to attack Kong and he has multiple other apes there to try and jump Kong with him. So he ends up fighting these guys. He's using Zuko to slam all the guys around and just tear things up. Kong ends up making the rest of the apes run off, but he captures Zuko, where he has Zuko take him to the Scar King so he could find out what the heck is going on. Godzilla also feels the electrical signals and he goes on a mission to find all the radioactive energy possible. So he's charging himself up. And what is he charging himself up for? That we don't know yet. We find out that in Hollow Earth, the Scar King is wreaking havoc and he's a malicious, tyrannical ruler of apes who wants to take over the surface world. So everything he does, he does it for evil purposes. He also has control over Shimo, the ice lizard. While the Monarch team is in Hollow Earth, they discover that the Iwi people are the ones who sent the signal for help and are discovered in Hollow Earth which King of the Monsters alluded to the fact that there were going to be humans that lived in Hollow Earth, but Godzilla vs. Kong never showed us, but now we see. Gia and the Monarch research team find out from the surviving Iwi that she is the one who is to save everyone. And how is she to do this, you may ask? The answer is Mothra. Gia is the only person able to bring Mothra back in the Iwi temple fulfilling a prophecy from long ago. Mothra is Godzilla's closest friend and they're gonna need her to be able to help persuade Godzilla to join the fight to save the world. She is amazingly beautiful and majestic in this movie and she has like this rainbow glow aura around her. I, I just love the way that they did Mothra and it just fit in so well with the temple of the Iwi people. 